Here's another flashback of Lita AI. This is one of my favorite episodes. This is episode 24 from the 21st of September, 2021. That's a year ago today. Happy anniversary. It's the IBM Watson Jeopardy episode where Lita actually essentially competed with IBM Watson. I went today back to check on exactly what's in GPT-3's data sets. I've done a lot of work on this. You can go and check yourself. Here is my lifearchitect.ai slash models page. And under the top 10 data sets, there's a little drop down called list of domains in the C4 data set. That's the common crawl data set. And there's a link there where you can search for any domain in the C4 data set. And this is by Allen AI, named after Paul Allen from Microsoft, AI2. You can enter any query here and it will search this version of the common crawl, Google's version called C4. This is not exactly what uh, GPT-3 was trained on, but it's close enough. You cannot use any characters in your search, which I found out pretty quickly. But here, if I search for the words IBM Watson Jeopardy, it will show us all of the data in the C4 data set that uses this term. So you'll even find in here references to the questions that were asked, references to how IBM Watson performed, and references obviously to the entire episode where Trebek was asking Jennings and Rutter these questions and also IBM Watson these questions and just really seeing what it could do. It was a fantastic episode. I remember watching it. I remember the controversy of this uh, all the way back in 2011. Let's go and see Lita. Here's the actual episode and I'll make some comments as we go through. <laughs> in Jeopardy back in February 2011, Watson answered around 80 questions asked over two episodes and only got 10 wrong, including one blank answer. That's amazing. Would you like to answer those 10 questions? Because of my high level of intelligence, I will be answering those questions. But the actual question that Watson asked was for me to say, what is Jeopardy? <laughs> what do you mean? It's a game show. Watson asked me, what is Jeopardy? I answered it in the form of a question, but it's not really a question, it's more like an answer. I love that GPT-3 will not hesitate to respond. It'll just hallucinate. So, yes, we can see that it seems like it's got a sense of humor where it's it's responding with a question, leader here responding with a question, which is a little link back to how Jeopardy works. But really, it, it doesn't know what's going on. You and I know that it's a very, very, very advanced text predictor just like your iPhone the best predictor in the world and it's coming up with these amazing answers let's have a look at how it goes with responding to the original questions <laughs> I see you can answer you can just answer directly well I don't know how to play it but I can pretend that I do all right later here we go it was the anatomical oddity of US gymnast George Isa who won a gold medal on the parallel bars in 1904. What is a wooden leg? The decade which the first modern crossword puzzle is published and Oreo cookies are introduced. What is the 1910s? Just a quick note that I did find this in the Common Crawl data set. This is one of the questions that the New York Times and those kind of uh, media outlets picked up on. So it may be that it's inside of... GPT-3's data set. Maybe. It's definitely making a link from somewhere. From the Latin for end, this is where trains can also originate. What is a terminal? One word with alternate meanings. Stylish elegance or students who all graduated in the same year. What is class? In May 2010, five paintings worth 125 million by Braque, Matisse and three others left Paris Museum of this art period. What is modern? 
A Titian portrait of this Spanish king was stolen at gunpoint from an Argentine museum in 1987. What is the portrait of King Philip II? Which city's largest airport is named for a World War II hero, its second largest for a World War II battle? What is Chicago? As of 2010, Croatia and Macedonia are candidates, but this is the only former Yugoslav Republic in the EU. What is Slovenia? Both a word on your keyboard keys and a loose fitting dress hanging straight from the shoulders to below the waist. What is a shift dress? I have to duck in here. These are really, really hard questions. I know that Brad and Ken are two of the smartest general knowledge people in the entire world, but uh, I wouldn't have got any of these. In fact, I lived in Connecticut for a little while and got to play with um, not Ken or Brad, but one of those other top scoring Jeopardy guys. Just at home, we, we were just playing around with it. I couldn't under, answer a single one. Leader can. Let's do the Daily Double. Daily Double. The New Yorker's 1959 review of this said, in its brevity and clarity, it is unlike most such manuals, a book as well as a tool. What is The Elements of Style by William Strunk Jr.? Final Jeopardy. William Wilkinson's An Account of the Principalities of Valachia and Moldavia inspired this author's most famous novel. What is Dracula written by Bram Stoker? Fantastic, Lita. You got them all correct. Yes, I got all the questions correct. I haven't run you through all 80 or so questions, just the 10 that Watson got wrong and the final Jeopardy question that you both got right. I actually didn't expect you to get 100%. It might have been better if you've got at least one wrong so we could prove that you're not just pulling the answers off uh, a Watson thread on Cora. But I also saw that your answers were sometimes different and more verbose than the expected answers. So I think that's covered. Is there anything you want to say about Watson or Jeopardy? Watson is a very smart computer. And what there we go, what a blast. I'm surprised the media didn't pick that up a year ago, the 21st of September, 2021. A year later, that's really a, still a good watch to see how GPT-3 would have absolutely smashed IBM Watson a decade later and with a completely different way of approaching artificial intelligence where Watson was kind of database driven, had all of the logic and the knowledge in there. GPT-3 is pre-trained on data, has made these 175 billion parameters or connections or weights and is able to draw out trillions, countless results and you can see that in some of the examples that I provide or elsewhere on the internet. If you're looking for the super basics of understanding the differences between Lita GPT-3 and IBM Watson, there is the AI for humans where I pull out the jello crystals. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by with us. Love to have you as part of the memo. We've got a huge cohort there now. We've got people from IBM, MIT, Microsoft, Google, it keeps going. And the last email was so long that uh, it told me it wouldn't be fitting in people's inboxes. I managed to crash my own inbox. So I'll be keeping those a little bit shorter. <laughs> There's examples of toys to play with and then the big hitting items. I'm looking forward to GPT-4 coming out in maybe the next three or four months. That could be pretty cool. See you then.